Building Blacks version 1.72 is here. And we've made two big changes, including a new drums feature and a new subtle scoring element, as well as some minor improvements. Let's start with the new drums feature. So as you already know, we can open the settings. We can change our drum kit, but now we have this new drum lanes view, which gives you individual drum volume mute and solo capabilities. So for example, you know, this can come in handy in the lessons. If you're having a hard time, say hearing exactly what the hi-hats are doing, well, you could solo it. Now you don't hear the snare or the kick. You can also edit the volume, mute it. And when you're in the studio or a create lesson, you could change each individual drum lane sample as opposed to changing the whole kit. Next up, we've added some leniency into the scoring system for subtle elements like velocity, legato, grace notes, and hi-hats that are played at the same time as snares. Let me show you how this works starting with velocity. So here I have a drum pattern and I know it's correct, but I'm gonna change one of the velocities to make it wrong on purpose and submit it. So you'll see, I got it wrong, yet I still got 100%, but there's an asterisk next to that 100%. That tells me that you did get something subtle wrong. And you can see that note is light red instead of the usual dark red. What we're saying here is, okay, you got it wrong, but it might be so subtle that it's really tough to hear. So we're not gonna hurt your score, but we still want you to notice it. See if you hear the difference. This will be really helpful as you get deeper and deeper into the course when the patterns get more complex, you got other tracks on top of the drums and the velocity could just get harder and harder and harder to hear. This will allow you to you know, move through the course more smoothly. Now, if you are someone who doesn't like this leniency, you're sitting there like, Joe, make it hard for me. Come on, don't take it easy on me. You can go into the session menu, select preferences, and in challenge scoring criteria, you'll be able to check include velocity. And now velocity will be included in the scoring. So it's up to you whether or not you want it to be, you know, graded hard or graded easy. Another example is when we have hi-hats at the same time as snares. So let's listen to this hi-hat here. Let's take it away. It's a very subtle difference because the snare, like the hi-hat, is bright, but it's a more powerful sound. So it often masks, covers up the hi-hat. It really depends on the samples. Sometimes you can hear the hi-hat, sometimes you really can't. So we've decided to make that another subtle element. I'm gonna submit this track with the hi-hat missing. Okay, 100%, but there's an asterisk. I missed something subtle. And you'll see the usual white square, which would look like this, Normally it's solid, but for this, it's dotted. That tells you, okay, you missed a note, but it's probably subtle, won't hurt your score. Now let's look at legato and grace notes. These two can get quite difficult as you get deeper into the course. Sometimes it's so subtle, it's hard to hear. So I'm gonna take this track and I'm gonna intentionally take out a grace note and I'll leave off one of the legatos. Submit it. 100% asterisk, I missed something subtle. So you can see the grace notes got a dotted white line, I missed it, but it's not gonna hurt my score. And I missed this little timing adjustment. And same with legato, right? Light red instead of dark red. And again, it, like with velocity, if you want any of these things included in the scoring, you want it to be a little bit more difficult, just go into preferences and you can check which ones you'd like to be included in the scoring. We also made an adjustment to the Mind's Ear Pass Percentage system. Some of the Mind's Ear exercises have this down here. You know, by default, you have to get each rep in a mind zero exercise perfect. You have to get every note correct, 100% to pass. And that's what it says here, 100% to pass. But if you get three wrong, you'll unlock a lower percentage. So if you want to make it easier for yourself, you can go down to 90%. Three more wrong, down to 80%, etc. This feature already existed. Some users just have a real hard time with mind zeros. It's tough. And they wanted to be able to start at a lower percentage, maybe start at 90%. So you can go into preferences and you'll see initial mind's ear pass percentage. Right now it's at 100%. But if you change it to 90 or 80, that's what you'll start with when you launch a mind's ear. And for any of you teachers out there using building blocks with your students, you can set these settings for your students so that they can't choose. You can choose. Check the link in the description to another video specifically on how to do that. Now, along with these two major features that we added, we also have some minor improvements. We tweaked a lot of music, in particular to help you hear like velocity and hi-hats a bit better. We made the double click to delete function better. It was a bit inconsistent before, and we improved the studio load time. I hope you enjoy version 1.72.